Hello, West Virginia Tim. Before I show you how to build another really unique geocache, it's a lot of fun both for kids and adults, I wanted to give you a special invitation. Geo Woodstock 13, May of 2015, is just across the border in Maryland. It's only about 20, 25 minutes from the area where I live and where you'll find um, many, many unique caches, just like the one we're gonna see today. So do me a favor. Put your will attend for Geo Woodstock and tell them West Virginia Tim sent you. The other thing, the folks at Geo Woodstock have invited me to have a seminar on how to build unique caches. So I'll have this cache as well as a dozen other gadget caches on display. And we'll have some interaction and talk about building unique caches. So don't miss my seminar at Geo Woodstock and tell them West Virginia Tim sent you. Okay, before I show you this unique cache, I've got to give you a little caveat. We're, we're in my yard. This cache isn't out yet. It won't go out until June of 2015 after Geo Woodstock. It'll be part of a, a Berkeley County Geo Trail, uh, just like the one we have now. Uh, there are 14 gadget caches on the Gadgets of Berkeley County Geo Trail, and by getting those caches, you can earn this coin. I'll be teaming up with our county again and introducing another trail uh, next June. But I didn't want to wait till then. This cache is really kind of unique. It's really pretty easy to build. So I'm going to show you the cache first, and then we'll run in my shop, and I'll show you the insides and guts of the cache and how you can build it. As I approach this cache, I'm going to think, wow, that's a pretty unique paint job. But as I get closer, I can tell it's not a paint job. Those are Legos. This cache is made entirely of Legos. They're all solid, hard as a rock. So I know there's got to be a log somewhere. So of course you can't see the log anywhere around the cache here. So of course the log is going to have to be underneath. So as I look up and a latch that holds the log. Okay we've looked at our lock. It's a master lock four digit numeric. So I know I'm looking for numbers. As I read the cache page, the cache page tells me that the first number is the number of dark brown, second number is the number of pink blocks, third light gray, and fourth burgundy. Now, I had to choose blocks that had nine or less because it's a four digit lock. So of course 13, you know, dark browns won't work. It has to be blocks that have nine or less. And when you get your Legos, you'll find that you have colors that you know that you don't have a lot of of course you couldn't if you chose yellow uh, or if you chose red you could only use uh, you, could, you could do that by using yellow red and you would only need two colors I chose to use colors that there weren't a lot of blocks and they have to have four okay so let's pick one that I hope that you can see let's choose pink that's our second digit so let's count the number of pink blocks and see if we can find the correct digit Okay, let's count the pinks. So as we start at the top, I come down the first pink. Here's one, two, three. So we have three on this side. Now I come over here. I start at the top again. So I'm at three. I can't count that one because it's the same block that's around the side. Here's one, four. Here's one, but it's the same block that's around the side, so we're at four. Now I come over to this side, and I won't show you the answer, but there's at least five, right? Okay, I've counted my blocks. I put those four numbers in my master lock. I gave my master lock a little squeeze, and it's opened. So let's take a look at the cache. Okay, the lock comes off, and there's my cache container. I try to use as large a cache container as I can, so I don't have to go out often and do uh, a lot of maintenance. Okay, so I'll put this back, lock it up, and let's go into the shop and let me show you how to build this one. I started with purchasing Lego blocks. I did that by going to eBay, and I found that if you search on Lego building blocks, there are uh, places you can buy 200 bulk building blocks, all mixed sizes. So I started with one of those because I needed to determine how many Lego blocks I need. Good news is for you, I can tell you that to build this cache, you're going to need at least 600 blocks. So I ended up buying three sets of 200 bulk building blocks. 
When you buy the bulk building blocks, they either come in twos or ones. Also purchased is a base. And then I used a saw and I cut them off and I used the base uh, for the bottom of my geocache. So on the sides, I used uh, two and on the front, I use one because when you buy them, you get all these twos and you get these ones and you really can't mix them. So I used the singles across the whole front is single line blocks and the sides are double building blocks. The reason I place my latch and lock underneath it is I want to hide it. So when people are driving by, they just think it's a colorful birdhouse. And as I started building, I super glued along the bottom, especially I super glued almost every single block because I don't want anyone being able to come down here and try to take it apart because this is their most likely place to try to take it apart. Up in here, I didn't super glue every single block, but I would just, you know, glue every three or four and I just put a dab um, and it really, really makes this very, very solid. But make sure you do your dry run first and that you have only so many. There's a burgundy. Uh, and here's a light gray. So make sure you have your numbers uh, set aside and just fold them in to your um, cache as you build it. The other hint I'll give you is you end up with a lot of singles. Um, and the first time I did it on my dry run, I ended up with a ton of singles left up here on the top. And it really looked a little odd. So if you'll notice right here, uh, there's a whole bunch of singles right here. Um, make sure you incorporate all the different sizes in throughout your build. I, when I did my dry run, I tried to figure out where the uh, hole, the typical bird hole would be. I left out white and black blocks so that I had enough to build um, this. Of course, this right here is glued very, very well. I think I came up like 16 or 17 lines before I started my house, but I kind of played with that in my trial and error. Um, I have a perch, but of course you can't put a round peg in a square hole. Uh, so um, this perch is uh, two blocks by two blocks, and I sanded off the little t nibs, and this little block fits right in. So it goes in, and the only thing that sticks out then is the actual perch, and I just took sandpaper and sanded it to make it look like a perch. Okay, where do you start? Do you build this first or do you build this first? They really have to be synced um, very closely together. I knew I needed a board this big because I had my latch and I understood how much room my lock needed. And I chose to use a small geocache because it allowed me to build a smaller interior. So I had to understand what these dimensions were. Um, if we look, this is exactly five inches. And uh, this way, it's a little less than five inches. You can build it much wider. You just can't build it any smaller. Well, I even nailed it together because you're really just building a little square box uh, with a hole in the bottom uh, for your geocache. And you put a couple boards in there so that this won't slide around. Across the front, a single individual blocks, it would be 20 across here. Sides are not as big. There are only 16 uh, of these nibs or five inches. Understanding this was my minimum dimensions, I built this and glued it together. And you can tell it's very, very secure. It's not going to come apart. Uh, it's very, very tight. And when you place it on here, it fits perfectly. I'm going to take an epoxy glue. I'm going to put a really good coating of epoxy glue on this and this and this. And while the epoxy glue is wet, I'll place this on here. Hey, thanks for joining me. I think this is an easy cache to build. Um, you know, the boxes is one of the simplest boxes I've ever built. And you get to play with Legos and try to figure out what size you want. Who doesn't like playing with Legos? Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, never need to give me credit for any of my ideas or concepts. If you build it, put it out, and enjoy the logs. Let's keep raising the geocaching bar one cache at a time. And just as a reminder, won't you join me at Geo Woodstock 13? Come to my seminar, and when you put your will attend, say, West Virginia Tim invited me. Hey, have a great day.